I'm not sure if I found my career path or if it found me. As an undergrad at Clemson, I worked cutting grass at the fish farm and would occasionally dabble in helping them with the research. One of the researchers there noticed me and he offered me an opportunity to get a master's degree. And I was like, what's that? That's who I was as an undergrad. Now, I'm the precision agriculture engineer at Clemson's Edisto Research and Education Center. And more recently, I'm the director of the University Center for Agricultural Technology, or CUCAP. I develop technology specifically for South Carolina farmers through industry and academic collaboration. To thrive in this season of tough competition and adapt to labor shortages, farmers need to increase efficiency while mitigating risk. And that's where ag tech comes in. We're developing tools to empower South Carolina's farmers to help them to be more efficient and profitable. We're leveraging technology to fill the gaps in our farmers' day-to-day -day tasks. One way we see that work in the field is with the new GPS GIS assistive software that we built to test center pivot irrigation systems. Until recently, we didn't have a great way to provide farmers with performance data on their center pivot irrigation systems. So we built this software and have already provided well over 100 tests to South Carolina farmers that show where they can save water and be more profitable in their operations. Another project we're working on is a collaboration between Clemson, IBM, and the Linux Foundation called AgRec. This provides localized recommendations to South Carolina farmers, but it also allows groups worldwide to plug in their recommendations so that their farmers can have the same benefits. Specifically in South Carolina, agricultural technology is making farming operation more productive using fewer resources. That means a cleaner environment for the state and more profitable business for our farmers.